Hey everybody, uh, some people have been asking me to do a short little video on how I do some of my notes. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you kind of what I do here. And then I'm going to transition over to another view and I'll show you some pictures of notes that I've taken and I keep in my notebook or my journal. And then uh, I'll talk a little bit about some of the things that I do with it to help me remember. But I essentially go through this process whenever I'm doing a podcast or I'm going to do a video or I'm going to even do a PowerPoint. I have a PowerPoint template that maybe on another video I'll show you and show you how I use it. But uh, this short video is just about how I take notes. So if I'm going to make a newsletter, I just like to draw out the basic page of it. And then I'll just throw in some boxes where I think I want some pictures. And then I'll do this and kind of highlight where I want the type set to go or the, the wording. I'll even throw in sometimes a divider uh, and then a final picture there. It just helps me to get a good idea of the layout before I actually get into the template or divine, devise my own template. And so sometimes in this stage I'll use different colors. So I have a purple pen here. Uh, so I'll do different colors or I'll box it out for something specific or I'll go in and actually write in a uh, picture and then maybe even say here I want my logo uh, and then maybe down in the left hand corner over here I'll put a box there saying subscribe or you know, some some kind of thing like this, like Patreon or whatever. But anyway, it just helps me to visualize the page before I get into the actual template and start building it. Now, I know some templates already do this for you, but this really helps me to think about what I want to do, how I want to do it before I get into the actual template, or I just devise my own template, or I devise it on my own page in PowerPoint or Word, or sometimes on Canva, or sometimes in... Photoshop. So that's what I do here. So I'm going to transition over to my uh, other perspective uh, and show you some pictures of what I do and then kind of give some highlights and then that'll be it. And so as you can see here, I'm just uh, showing you some of my uh, notes that I put into my notebook and uh, kind of a varying degree of different notes. You'll see some in early stages, some in complete stages. Uh, you'll see that I use a lot of color, that I use a lot of bullet points uh, to make things stand out. Uh, you'll see I've used large numbers. I like to use lists. Um, and I like to get creative in how I list out my lists sometimes. And so this is where I come when I'm ready to do kind of a mid final draft or a final draft. So you see on the right there, I have a list where I call it five rules and then I've listed them all out one to five, highlighted them so that they stand out. And then you'll see this page later on in the presentation. All right, so I'm going to get started here with the uh, slideshow and uh, we'll continue on here. And so this first picture here is uh, a picture of my notebook essentially and I just use a moleskin notebook and you can kind of see that I use a grid pattern style and uh, for me that that works out really well because it helps me not only with the writing but also when it comes to drawing and so you can see here that I, I take notes I, I make uh, kind of highlights here as to what's important to me I'll put things in brackets and uh, that way I remember that uh, I want to mention those specifically. I'll do rough hand sketches and then you can see that I've highlighted in different colors. That kind of helps me put things in a specific order. So I use a color key and it changes back and forth. It's, it's not just one key over another key or one key specifically. Uh, it can be one key over another key or, or whatever. but. Uh, there's um, there's one page. The next page kind of shows you an iteration of a process where I'm gone from the rough draft to now a good draft or a better rough draft. And you can see here I, I write out the stages that I want to talk about. And this particular page is, is showing some notes 
that I've put into uh, putting together a podcast. And you can see here that, uh, I again, I've highlighted the, the stages, I've highlighted the boxes uh, to help me remember the points that I want to make. Uh, these are highlighted here for a specific reason because I want to highlight those books in my show notes. And then you can see that I'm drawing linking arrows uh, kind of all over the place to try and help me remember the flow of my thought as I'm writing the notes down. And so here, uh, you remember this, this is a picture from the first uh, page that I showed you. This is the rough hand drawing. And then on the right hand side, uh, you can see that I've used a template. So I've taken this rough one that I've drawn just by hand, and then I use a template, uh, which I've purchased from Staples, to create what you see on the right hand side here. And then I will highlight it and write inside of it. And then you can see I, I make a whole bunch of notes around it. That way I can talk about each one of these bubbles in sequential order, and I'm not going to forget what I want to say in regards to those different bubbles. And it just kind of helps me remember my way through the process. And then you can even see down here in the lower right hand corner, uh, I have something similar, but again, it's just hand drawn. And what it's helping me to remember is that there's a connection between teams, organizations, and leaders, whether they're leaders in the team or leaders in the organization. And so Here's a page taken out of my notebook that is a complete page that I've done on design thinking. I did a uh, workshop on design thinking not too long ago. And so I put this together after I had a couple sets of rough notes. Um, this is by no means a perfect draft, first draft. I actually go through two or three iterations before I get to my final draft. And this would most likely be a final draft because I want to make sure that I have the flow of what I need to speak about um, secure before I go into something like this. And so you can see here that again, I've highlighted certain things that I want to mention. Um, all my main notes are on the left hand side to keep me focused. Uh, I will do an arrow over to this what I call the process practice and then I have my diagram there and I and coincidentally this diagram I've recreated in PowerPoint uh, so that when I get to the PowerPoint I, I already know what these things are I don't have to go back and memorize them because essentially I've memorized them in my notes already so in making sure that I've color-coded things or I've kept things on the left hand side like this or I've even drawn a funny little diagram like this because I'm a visual learner these things really really help me remember what I need to say and free me up from depending on my notes and so that's just one aspect of my note taking that I do and so I just wanted to show that to you and hope that it uh, it helps